Skyrim Together Reborn has just been released, and today I'll be showing you how to quickly get it up and running on Mod Organizer 2. If you don't have Mod Organizer 2 and want to know how to install it, I'll provide a link to a guide in the top right corner of the video. But Mern, why don't you use Vortex? Well, Vortex is an okay mod manager, but I'ma be real, I've been modding this game for 10 years now and MO2 is better. If you actually want to mod the game, avoid Vortex like it's the plague. Unless you want to wait 10 minutes on deployments every time you install new mods. Or suffer multiple strokes trying to solve mod conflicts. Alright, with that out of the way, let's make sure we have the proper foundation for our installation. You need to own Skyrim Special Edition and have it fully up to date. You do not need to own the Anniversary Upgrade, and it's actually recommended you play without the mods from the Anniversary Upgrade. To check which version of Skyrim you have, open your Skyrim's main directory folder, right-click skyrimse.exe, go to Properties, and then click Details. You want to have product version 1.6.353. If you have a product version that is lower, you can update your Skyrim by going to Steam, right-clicking Skyrim, Properties, Verify Integrity of Game Files, and now wait for your Skyrim to update. If you have content installed from the Anniversary Upgrade, I suggest adding them as a mod in MO2. This allows you to toggle them off and on in your Mod Manager. To do this, create an empty mod. Name it Anniversary Mods. Now right-click Open in Explorer. Navigate to your Skyrim's main directory. And go into the Data folder. You'll now see a bunch of plugins. We want to select all the plugins that begin with CC. Now cut and paste them into the folder you just made. Go back to MO2 and refresh it. And now make sure you have your anniversary mods disabled. Alright, let's now install Skyrim Together Reborn. Make sure you've got an account on the Nexus, and log in with your Nexus account on MO2. Once you're connected, click Associate with Download Manager links. Click OK. Now download Address Library AE from the Nexus, and Skyrim Together Reborn 2. Install Address Library, give it a name, now enable it. Now install Skyrim Together Reborn, it'll now mention the content data does not look valid. This is normal, just right click Skyrim Together Reborn, set as data directory, then click OK and ignore. Now enable Skyrim Together Reborn. Alright, we're almost done. Now let's add Skyrim Together Reborn as an executable. Right-click Skyrim Together Reborn, open an Explorer, copy the file path. Now go to the executables list and click Edit. Click this plus icon, add from file. Now paste the file path you copied earlier and select Skyrim Together Reborn.exe. Congratulations, Skyrim Together Reborn is now installed. Now if you want to play Skyrim Together Reborn, you'll always have to run this executable. Let's launch the executable and check if it works. From the main menu, press tilde on your keyboard to open the console. Now enter the command cocqa smoke and hit enter. And once you're in, press F2 or right control and the Skyrim Together Reborn menu will pop up. You can now join servers by clicking connect and filling the server's IP and password if they have any. Keep in mind, we're just using the cocqa smoke command to quickly test if multiplayer works. When you actually start playing for real, you should start the game normally by selecting the new game option from the main menu, and only attempt to join servers once you finish the beginning part of the game and you're out of Helgen. Once in a server, I highly recommend you party up with your friends or others for a smoother experience. Keep in mind, quests will be synced in a party, but the party leader will be the ones hosting them. You can send and accept invites from other players on the server by pressing F2 and going to the player manager, and then selecting the party menu. You can also teleport to other players from this menu. I'll be working on videos explaining how to host a Skyrim Together Reborn server and modding in Skyrim Together Reborn. So if you're interested in this, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss it. Thanks for watching and thanks to my patrons. Take care lads and lasses and enjoy Skyrim multiplayer.